FNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here for the 11 o'clock Tiger Financial News Network an update, a market update. We're down 110 in the Dow, 29,926 after being down 400, over 400 yesterday and then closing up over 800. Just a spectacular session. Well, as I was saying in my show, the Tiger Technicians Hour uh, just a moment ago, it, it really, really was a four-in-one session. So we should be giving back one of those quarters, which is uh, in the Dow, which would be almost uh, three, 400 points, and we haven't done that yet. So this is so far pretty decent consolidation. We're looking at uh, the uh, S&P. And don't forget, folks, we, we start off at 9 o'clock with Tom, Tommy O'Brien, market kickoff, then my show, the Tiger Technicians Hour. And then we've got Steve Rhodes. We've got uh, uh, Think of Swim. We've got great programming here we've got uh dave white tom o'brien wraps it up uh so stay tuned all day we're looking at the sb down 31 and 36 38 coming off the low it's struggling to break above the 14 period moving average of 36 80 whoops of 30 uh is that correct 36.80 and it's trading 36. Oh, it did that. 37.12 earlier this morning. Yeah, 36.80 needs to get above uh, quite soon. In fact, maybe today even. We're looking at the um, QQQ, NDX 100, uh, coming off that low very sharply, but just being repelled at the 14 period moving average down three at 265.58. The technicals are starting to improve, but they're not that great. IWM, Russell 2000. Actually, the technicals here are just a little bit better than the others. It's trading down $1.27 at 170 Gold. Gold is down 20 It's really struggling. But the dollar, really, the issue here is that the dollar is so strong. It's walking in the 14 and 9 period moving averages, up 0.57 at 113.03. I was saying that the two patterns here, one is the arch formation that makes the dreaded H. <clears throat> And that'll occur if the dollar starts next week to go under 111, 11170 But if it starts to break above 114.20, it's that V-shaped pattern or the cup formation. We're looking also at the TLT. Oh, I never did that in my show. I meant to do that. But the, the yields have been rallying because that the bonds just cannot get any traction to the upside. So, folks, as I wrap it up, you're going to have Steve Rhodes coming up, uh, the recorded Steve Rhodes, and then great program as well, continuing for the rest of the day. What I want to see is that the Dow, after 2 o'clock, is down only 35 to 40 points rather than down 300. And the S&P is coming back to maybe only 18 minus 18. That'll be a great digestive session and allows for some continuation on Monday. That's what we would like to see. Have a wonderful weekend. Check out my opening call. I'll be back Monday.